did you ever think about moving or getting away from acting at all? Yeah. Or did, oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I actually quit. Um, Ooh. I quit when I was. I think I like. I tested for two pilots in one pilot season and didn't get either of them. And I was like, I'm done. <laughs> After high school? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I was about, how old was I? 19. And so I moved to New York. Oh. And I know, which is like. This is after the college and yeah. everything. Okay. 19 or 20. I went to New York and I was like, I just want to see what it's like to have other jobs. Or maybe I want to be like behind the scenes person or what. So I worked as a junior agent at a modeling agency. Whoa. At Ford. Okay. So the two pilots you didn't get and you were just like fed up. You were tired of Yeah, I was of like, I need a stuff. break. Okay. Go to New York. You, how did you get the gigs so quickly as a junior agent? That seemed like I don't a bit, remember. an important job you'd have to I, be an intern for a while to get. I know. I, it was so weird. I don't remember. I was like the youngest person there. Um, did you know somebody? I must have or my family must have or okay. something <laughs> like, because it's crazy. But then I like quickly figured out. I was like, "Whoa, I hate this so much. Why, why did you hate it? Um, I oftentimes think about the other side because I think... To me, agents and man. Granted, this is modeling, so I don't know anything about that. But for acting, I feel like it's just finding pieces of a puzzle and putting them in the slot. Yeah. And I think I would be very good at that. And I think I have a lot of friends that have untapped potential that I could easily get Help. out there. Yeah. Well. So I think it'd be a lot of fun for an actor. I think with friends, that's a good way to go. I think that being an agent is such a thankless job. And really? yeah, and you get like yelled at for stuff that's so out of your that's control. True. That's true. Like I would have a girl call me and be like, well, my friend went in for this. And then why did I not go out for it? And then, and I'm like, well, I, you know, like you, we submitted and you didn't like, you know, yeah. so it's just this like weird thankless kind of job. And you're always getting in trouble for no reason. And I it was, I was like, I'm always getting yelled at. And then wait, was, did you have like a roster of people? Well, or were you, you my, were, your agent had a roster and you were working with that with agent. them yeah um and you were getting yelled at we were in the yeah we were in the like commercial print division i forget what it was they called it lifestyle um and so there were like a ton of models and they would just call yelling well because i was the one that picked up the phone and so they <laughs> I, they'd yell at me first and then these damn models i know but it was also sad like we had to measure them with tape measures to like make sure they hadn't gained weight. And uh, I was like, I'm not. Into oh my. It. Yeah. I was like, Oh, I feel bad. Like I, to tell another woman that like, I was like, this is not my, that's fucked not my up. thing. Yeah. That's um, weird. Yeah. It was super weird. And I'm like, I get why they don't like me, <laughs> you know, like this is such a hectic career to have. Well, it is interesting to think about because when we aren't going out or we're not doing anything, we, the first thing we do is jump and blame our manager or ma yeah. act or yeah. agent. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, what have you been doing? Have you been going to classes? Have you been sending yeah. out headshots? Have you been doing this? Have you been? Yeah. So it's like a definitely it's, a two way street. It's definitely a catch all. When you get something, you're like, thank you so much agent. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I do think I, it would be fun to be an agent though. Did you get anything positive out of no, it? it? Did was you fun. feel like it was, it was good fun. to see the, the process of submissions and things like that? It was super cool. I learned so much. It was like, and to be in an office like that at Ford, it was like, it's pretty crazy. At Ford? It was f called Ford Models. It's like oh, a pretty gotcha. popular modeling agency. It's been around forever. It's a great car brand, too. Um, yeah, it. yeah. Um, so it's like, I, I definitely learned a ton. So how long were you in New York for then? I was in New York. Well, it was weird. I like, somehow, I was there for a year, and I somehow was like, wow, I'm pretty much over this. And I got one audition, and it was for a soap opera, and I went in for, I was like, I'm going to tell them that I have a dentist appointment and <laughs> go to this audition. And I went and I ended, I like took the subway to Brooklyn and ended up booking the soap opera. Because you didn't care. Yep. Because I had another job and I wasn't focused on it. And so I went <laughs> and I booked this job. And so I did a soap for another year. And then it was so funny, actually. The soap had been on since the radio, like since before yeah. TV. It was on for 60 years, something years. As the world turns? Yes. And as soon as I got on there, <laughs> they were like, we're canceled. Oh, really? Yeah, they were canceled while I was there, like a year into it. 
Um, <laughs> so they, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to be on this forever. My aunt and uncle had been married like in real life for like 30 years. They were like, we met 30 years ago on this soap. And I was like, perfect. I'll, I'll just have a job. That's for, like, crazy. Time. Wait, you said though, you quit acting when you didn't get those pilots. So yeah. you still had your reps and stuff when you um, moved to New York. I didn't, I told, I told them I was quitting, but I still had like, good relationships with them. Okay, it wasn't so like the, I was like mad at, and just, you know. I and just, they were probably like, Davida, come on. Yeah, come they back. were like You're sad great. that we I love you. quit. Yeah. Um, so, so they, yeah. So how did that audition come about though? They they were secretly submitting you or I not? don't think so. I think, I forget what it was. I feel like someone emailed me and it might have been like the New York agency of my LA agency and they were like, you'd be great for this. Uh, I think that's what it was. And then I ended up. Yeah. But um, when you told them you're done, they, they probably like, were like, think about it take 24 hours and yeah. think, but I'm very impulsive. Like, I'm just like, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like made a decision. Got to stay with it. I think it's millennial. Yeah. I think I, think, I, I think most millennials. I are. just am like super impulsive. But it, I, I, that's got to be a good feeling, though, to be like, I'm done, and them to be like, no, come. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel Instead like, of being like most agents yeah. <laughs> think their <laughs> talent is so disposable. Yeah. So you, it, was, it had to be comforting to be in a spot where they were like, come on. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. But I still, was, I'm glad that I took that break. I needed that break. Like, Why do you say that? Do you think you just needed a reset? Or yeah. I'd, take away, take a step I, away to appreciate it or something? Yeah, I was just becoming an adult and like on my own, and I'd been doing that since I was a child and I needed like, you know, yeah. a break. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense.